channel and today's video so today's video i'm going to share with you my top underrated perfumes and actually this was a subscriber requested one i'm gonna leave her comment on the screen uh so yeah she asked me uh to share my my very beautiful underrated perfumes and i thought it's a very good idea to make um so yeah if you're interested to know my top underrated perfume just keep watching so today's video i have seven picks for you so in number seven spot i have fairy by uh, van cleave and arpels um really beautiful and elegant bottle actually uh with that fairy in the top so i have to admit that i got it uh for the bottle because i want to collect this beautiful packaging but actually the scent is very very beautiful um this is all about violet and berries so this is a floral fruity fragrance um it's powdery from the violet it's very it's not very sweet uh, it's a little bit sweet from the black currant and red berries but it's very very beautiful one um and it doesn't smell girly or generic to be honest it smells unique um it smells a little bit you know grown up yeah and it's a very very beautiful one um i could use this one any time of the year uh, it doesn't matter uh, the season you know or the weather it works all year round for me and it's a very very elegant one um this one is discontinued but i think you can still find it um on amazon or ebay so yeah um i i got it for the bottle in the beginning but um the juice inside it's a very beautiful and elegant uh powdery uh floral and fruity so yeah so this is uh my seven, uh, number seven spot okay so number six spot i have um nirvana rose by elizabeth and james and you, as you see um i have almost uh the whole collection of nirvanas but uh the rose one um is my favorite oh my goodness okay um nirvana rose is a floral fragrance and it's oriental also um this has only three notes which is rose of course it has also a uh, vetiver uh, so it should be uh, woody from the vetiver and it also has um, a geranium flower which smells a little bit aromatic and spicy oh my goodness um, I could smell oud in this perfume uh, it doesn't have uh, uh, an oud note but the vetiver in here smells like oud okay so it's very elegant um, if you can imagine or if you've tried uh, Velvet Rose and Oud by Jo Malone this is I would say this is similar to it okay uh, it even has uh, the, um, a, a good performance as uh, Jo Malone's one I also have Velvet Rose and Oud um, and I love them both uh, but this one is a very elegant uh, uh, dry dark roses with that wood smelling oh my gosh um it feels like a niche a niche fragrance to be honest this is how good it is um uh, i love it so much um yeah my favorite one from the whole collection uh from the nirvana collection this is my favorite one um nirvana rose so this is my number six okay spot. number five is part um and i want you to stay with me to the end because i kept the best ones uh, to the last so in number five spot i have um jivago 24k um by jivago um first of all look at those uh gold flakes it's very beautiful it uh, looks uh, very very luxurious actually um so this fragrance is a very mature and grown-up uh an amber and white flower scent oh my goodness you guys uh i love amber 
very much and this fragrance is one of the best amber scents i have smelled very beautiful it opens up very uh, soapy and clean uh, from the uh, tube rose from the jasmine and then settles down to a very beautiful cozy warm uh, very sensual and seductive amber and it's a little bit powdery also and it has a great great longevity and sillage and this is the eau de toilette version and it has a great performance it has a great longevity so i can't imagine the the eau de parfum because this is already strong uh, very beautiful amber and white flower scent uh so yeah uh, this is jibago 24k uh in number five spot so now in number four spot i have a very very beautiful and very classy fragrance um from the 90s and i want to tell you that fragrances from the 90s are my favorite um because they smell very classy and very original smelling uh, and actually this perfume is one of the best 90s fragrances created and i'm talking about lalique by lalique uh as you see also very beautiful packaging uh very you know very vintage looking um and very unique also so, uh, lalique oh my goodness um now if you can imagine um a very luxurious and expensive soap uh from the 80s or from the 90s uh this is exactly how this perfume smells like a uh, very beautiful um a floral uh, and also fruity uh, fragrance it's soapy it's clean it's powdery and it also sweet um from the uh pears uh, i love pears also so much and perfumes um and it also has um black currants i think so it opens up uh clean as i said uh, smells like um an, an inexpensive soap very beautiful but it has that vintage uh, vibes to it um smells also very uh, grown up smells very womanly and very very chic uh, if you love those powdery um clean soapy especially at this time of the year um but in a very grown up and elegant and very classic way uh, you need to check this one out because it's also very affordable because it's an old one uh, so yeah very affordable uh, fragrance but i would say it has a good uh, longevity this lasts me around maybe um, eight hours on my skin uh, the sillage um, i would say it's a, it's a soft sillage but it has a very good longevity so yeah uh, i love this perfume very much you guys uh, i highly recommend checking out this one if you love those types of perfumes so again this is uh, lalique uh, by lalique so now in number four spot i have also a powdery uh, fragrance um i have a uh, mitress by agent provocateur um so this perfume is an iris perfume okay uh, it also has a very beautiful note that i really love and enjoy in perfumes which is suede um so this is should be a leathery um powdery uh smells actually like um a makeup bag you know when you open uh, a makeup bag um this smells like this from the iris uh, and it also has uh you know floral notes it has also amber in the dry down guys okay so um if you're looking for an like again this one is very affordable also but this one is more uh, sensual is more um you know uh seductive uh fragrance um so yeah it opens 
um, it opens very airy and aquatic um, the opening is a little bit you know different uh, from any other you know powdery fragrances so it opens airy and aquatic from um, from lotus petals uh, it gives it that you know airy vibes to it and then it settles down to a very you know uh, makeup -y, uh, powdery uh, scent uh, mixed with amber oh my goodness this smells very very seductive okay this is great great at night um, this also very great um, you know in a you know romantic dinner or something like this because it's, it smells very sensual and seductive I love it so much because it has many notes that I really love and enjoy as I said as um, just like suede and iris and amber so that's why I love it so much so yeah uh, very beautiful elegant uh, sultry fragrance and again this is uh, Mitres by um, Asian Provocateur so now um, the best two fragrances that I saved to the last um, I have uh, a number two spot uh, on each fragrance um, I got it around four weeks ago so it's a new addition to my collection but oh my goodness you guys I can put this easily in my top 20 perfumes um, and I need to show you the packaging because, because it's very very beautiful so this is called Ananda Black by Martin uh, Mikolaev so um, the packaging is in here is very very beautiful you guys look at this um, very beautiful luxurious packaging oh my goodness you guys and the bottle itself is a piece of art um, so the bottle here is very very heavy okay uh, very heavy very luxurious uh, with all those um, you know uh, crystals on the top uh, very beautiful niche packaging actually um, but let's talk about the scent because this is all that matters okay um, this perfume is a white floral uh, and powdery sweet perfume this is all about um, you know powdery and creamy tuberose uh, mixed very very beautifully with a um, sweet notes like uh, benzoin and vanilla oh my goodness and it also has a, a fruit note which is blums which is really really delicious and yummy and mouth watering in this perfume so this perfume um, it has also that vintagey smelling uh it's a, it's not a very old fragrance so it's not from the 90s or anything i think it uh, it launched around maybe nine years ago but uh it has that vintagey um you know old perfumes vibes to it so it opens uh sharp uh, but don't judge it from the opening um just wait for a couple minutes then it's going to turn into a very seductive very sensual uh, powdery smelling because it has uh, powder notes uh, with that you know benzoin vanilla and plums and it also has um yelan yelan which is also smells sweet um and i could tell i can smell amber even uh, there is no an amber scent in it, but uh, I think it's um, it's from that you know benzoin and vanilla with the plums. It carries that amber, you know that that cozy and warm amber smelling. You guys, this is stunning. Okay, uh, it's an expensive perfume, but uh, it's a very very beautiful one. Uh, give it a try. Uh, if you love those powdery and sweet um, and very, you know, very elegant and classy 
fragrances um it also has a great sillage and longevity i'm talking about 12 hours with this perfume so this is gonna last you all day long great great option especially in fall and winter but i love it so much you guys this is smells so mouth watering to me uh very very delicious very seductive smelling uh i highly recommend checking out this one um uh, if you're looking for uh you know very you know a sensual seductive um and very very unique scent so again this is um ananda black uh, by martine mcleff so now in number one spot i have the best white floral fragrance that has created ever so you guys i'm talking about the real smelling of white floral okay um i'm not talking about um a smelling of perfume no <laughs> it's the smelling of natural uh and realistic white floral fragrance so i'm talking about um private collection two bros gardenia from st lauder um as you see oh my goodness you guys uh if you're looking for as i said um um a real and natural smelling of white flowers like tube rose gardenia lily um you know jasmine uh, orange blossom all kind of white flowers but the prominent notes uh, that i can easily detect is tube rose gardenia and jasmine oh my goodness you guys it smells also earthy and green from all those flowers Oh my goodness uh i love white florals very much and i have i have a lot actually in my collection but this is the best one okay i'm telling you i promise you this is the best one why because it smells very natural smelling as i said okay so um yeah it smells um the opening uh, smells uh, sharp like very sharp actually from the neroli and from the citruses but give it around two or three minutes and then you're gonna enjoy the smell of it very very much very beautiful um if you can imagine yourself standing in a white floral field and then you've picked a, a bunch of you know uh, white florals and you are sticking it in your nose and you're smelling everything in your hand you're smelling all the flowers you're smelling you know um the greens you're smelling even the dirt you know from the field this is exactly how this perfume smells like um i have to say this is a very expensive one uh the, this is the most expensive one ounce fragrance that i have in my collection uh i've paid um i think a hundred dollars for it um and it's also available uh, in the biggest size which is a hundred mil and it's is i think it's uh, um, uh 170 dollars so it's very expensive but i suggest you to, to to get this small size because it's very long lasting and it has a huge sillage so you don't need to spray a lot just two sprays maybe three maximum and you're good to go for 10 12 hours this lasts all day long okay uh very very good quality uh, fragrance uh, so yeah it's a very expensive one but i promise you it worth every penny because i said um you know very uh, real very uh, natural smelling of um white flowers and it smells also very you know very classy you know like it, when you put this on you're gonna feel like i'm so you know sophisticated and unique and classy very beautiful one and um smells mature also um yeah so as i said if you're looking for a white floral um you know uh now you know spring and summertime this is a great great option and as i said it it worth the price tag um so yeah uh private collection two bros gardenia by estee lauder check it out because it's it's a real gem okay we're talking about a real gem yeah um i think that's all about today's video 
and my hidden gems i hope uh you enjoyed my video guys uh let me know if you have any of those in your collection um i would love to hear from you and if you have any requested video please uh leave it in the comment section uh, and i will do it for sure uh with my pleasure so yeah don't forget to like and subscribe uh, if you haven't already and thank you so much guys for watching love you so much and see you in my next one bye